Hey, I'm here with my dog. Um, just sort of spent some time trying to figure out how to get off one of these rear wheels on a Husqvarna lawnmower. Um, spent like my whole afternoon trying to figure it out. I could only find front wheel videos online, but I decided to try to create one of my own um, to see if someone else needed help figuring this out too. Um, so let's try to give this a shot. So one of the things that you'll want to do is kind of prop this up so you can access your lawnmower. I like, I had to look underneath it to figure out how it works. Um, I have these blocks, oh, uh, some in the front, some in the back. Um, to try to get to it easier. So the first thing that I did was obviously this screw. Um, and even before that, these are the tools that I used. So I've got a screwdriver, one of these little things. You'll see how we, I don't, I don't know what they're called, those little C-clamp things. Um, and yeah. So take the wheel off, gonna set that to the side, got a little washer, this guard thing, whatever, um, and then you can see all this lovely stuff. What you do next is to sort of pry off this thing with your screwdriver. I was able to sort of just like wiggle it in and little by little it sort of comes off. Um, you use one hand to hold it, the other hand to kind of wiggle and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you get this guy off, um, and I, I think the trick is having a small enough screwdriver that you can like wedge it into the little hole. Um, you can then Take this guy off. You see it has like a little thing to fit over this pin. Um, and from there, you can just sort of tap it out, tap this pin out. Um, there's one side fatter than the other, so you wanna make sure you have it uh, sort of lined up. And, so. and then once you get it like far enough down, take this little guy to tap it the rest of the way through the hole. Um, so with all these little bits and here, you can kind of see it's starting to come out. Um, I flipped it around and that you can see that end is fatter than the other. So you want to make sure that it's not, you're like not tapping the wrong direction. Otherwise you won't get anywhere. Um, so let me show you what happens next. Okay. So you can see this is like part of the way through. Um, it's hard to do this with only one hand and this side is like kind of wiggly. This whole thing here is wiggly. So if yours is working, like this one's a little bit broken, which is why it's wiggly. But if yours is working, um, this thing will be pushed all the way up and you'll have enough space to kind of like tap that thing out. And then with my little hex, um, I don't want to lose this pin, <laughs> so I'm going to set this down. Okay, well, I was able to do it with one hand, um, but yeah, so you just kind of like wiggle it out. And from there, you can sort of pull this out, Jimmy. And then you want to also pull up on this thing to unhook it and there you go um, and I've been trying working on trying to fix this this thing um, this little C clamp thing when I uh, took this apart the first time was not attached here I think that's where it's supposed to go but this C clamp I think is a little funky because it doesn't hold it very tight um, and when it was, when I took this apart the first time, this clamp had like 
gotten itself, I don't know, off somehow. And it was just floating around on this bar, but like inside there. Um, and so obviously like this was super duper deeper loose and it wouldn't stay where it was supposed to for um, when setting the, the level of the cutter of the blade. It's late. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to fix this. Um, try to get it a little bit tighter. I got these zip ties. So I'm gonna test that out and see if it works. Um, either way, putting this thing back where it's supposed to be, um, you can see when you take this off, there's a little groove. Um, and what's up, dog? So there's a little groove and that's supposed to kind of hold it where it's supposed to be. Um, so I'll, even if I put it back here, it's working a little bit better, but it's still not all the way. It's got some wiggle um, and I just want to see if I can get it snugged up. So we'll see. So you can either do that or the other thing. And I mentioned these tools. I just bought this today because I was, I don't know, I wasn't sure really what the heck to do. Um, so I thought it can't hurt to just try. But these things, it has little like pokey bits and you just line those up with the holes, the holes that you can see there. Um, and once you get it lined up, you can squeeze them together and it comes off. It's super easy, a lot easier than trying to get it off without these tools, but yeah. Um, so then to put it back, oh, I guess one last thing, these things come apart from, there's three things here. So there's this guy and this. So that's all the way taken apart. So you can put it back together just the opposite direction. Um, okay, so here you see this thing. There you see that thing. You're gonna want this thing to go through that thing. So let's do it. So you stick it through. There's your rubber thing. Goes through there. And then now you need to put that little clip back in the place where it belongs. Get this cool tool. And this is a little bit bent. So I had to force it off. I didn't have this tool when I was taking it apart. So usually I think it would be easier to line up. All right, so you just extend it and then it should just sort of slip into place. Except I don't have that lined up very well. I don't know if you can see. So it should snap in if you get it all put together correctly. There you go. So you can see it's where it belongs. Um, okay, next step, putting it back on the lawnmower. This part's a little tricky. Um, oh, <laughs> I did it wrong. All right, so you can see this piece is supposed to be flipped around. So you gotta take it apart again. Oops. So if you're curious, my zip tie attempt did not work. Um, I was focused when I buy, bought these, just like more on if they would fit into this groove, but it didn't work because the diameter or yeah, circumference or whatever around the end, the circle bit, is longer than the edge that has the 
sticky bits. Um, so it went a little bit further, it wouldn't catch, didn't work, but whatever. I guess another thing I could try would just be, I don't know, like another washer or add a washer or like, I don't know, maybe they sell thicker rubber gaskety things. Who knows? But yeah, just some ideas. I'll go ahead and put this back together. So here I am with my helper. Here's my little helper. He wants to snuggle, right? Be in the middle of everything. But um, so what you gotta do is kind of not what I just said. <laughs> you wanna flip it around so this thing can go on and that little spring pin can fall into those holes, which is probably obvious. Um, and so you flip it around. I can put this this thing back on. Oh crap. I just flung it, but I see where it is. All right, dog, you gotta move. I gotta go rescue. Rescue this thing. Here it is. Okay. So, here we go. I'll put it back on this funky, funky little tool. Come here, James. Ugh, why won't it go on all the way? Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we got it back on the funky tool. And now it should be the correct way. Yeah, that looks better. All right, this is a real world bloopers. Um, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda pull it up to the setting that my other wheels are on. And you can see it's kind of like, it's still not through the hole um, all the way. So you just kind of pull it down against the spring and push it in, pull it down and then in, and then it should go. And then from there, Got to put our little pin back in. Um, so you want to make sure this is pulled out, this bar is pulled out, and all this other stuff is kind of pushed in. Like all this stuff is pushed in. So you can access the hole for the pin. All right. What are you thinking, dog? very pensive all right so just sort of like keep wiggling it in till it goes all the way um it's not totally in so you can see this side is more than the other but we'll figure it out eventually there we go I don't know, maybe one side is like sticking out more than the other. So I just twisted this and it figured itself out. There we go. All right, now the next bit, we got this guy goes back on, just slides right over if you don't mess it up. Like, I apparently am messing everything up. <laughs> All right, so that's supposed to just go on the thing. There we go. And then this guy. Why won't this go all the way on? There's something, maybe there's some sort of like bit of dust or something that's keeping it from going where it needs to go. Oh, I wonder if it has to do with these. This thing needs to maybe be turned. Because there's like these little grooves 
where the grooves are. So that must be, maybe that's why my wheel is so wobbly, is because it's got extra space and those there's like grooves on the pin. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, there we go. Now it goes on all the way. Yeah. You want some attention? All right, I probably shouldn't be petting you with my hands this black. Poor dog. He just got a bath. Okay. Um, yeah. Now you gotta put this, this guy back. So you just sort of squeeze it on. And then you take this thing and just sort of press down. Of course, everything's harder when you're doing it with just one hand. Um, what, does it smell funny? Ugh. Okay, gotta use two hands. So forgive the camera. If I can get this lined up, I can show you. Okay. Well, I'm going to just set the thing down. But yeah, so basically I get it like this and just sort of wiggle it on. Um, one second. Okay. So hopefully this works. Just sort of squeeze it. Squeeze it in. This is actually a lot faster without a camera. Without, <laughs> maybe I should buy a tripod. This is literally the first tutorial video I've ever done. But I thought maybe someone would want to see it because I Google everything and YouTube everything um, that I need to fix and I didn't see a video for this. So, okay, there it is back in place. Um, with these guys and from there you can put this guard back on little holes for the little screw the big hole is for the big screw then your washer then your wheel And then your nut. And oh, I gotta change that. Flip it around. Okay. And then you can tighten it back up. And voila. You've changed the wheel out. Da -da -da. So you can see this wheel, I think I'll need to replace some part. I'm not sure what exactly. If you know, let me know. Um, to make it so that this thing isn't so wiggly. Yeah, I think all that extra space made it so this thing just like came apart and then it wouldn't work to keep the, the setting. So you can compare it to the not broken wheel. It doesn't move at all. And my broken wheel. So let me know how to fix that. But at least I know how to take it apart and put it back together. Thanks, dog. And that's a wrap. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video or at least, I don't know, we're able to see how to put this stuff together. Um, courtesy of me and this little guy here and my horrible green shoes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let, let me know if you have any questions, comments, whatever. See ya.